Building trust was the most important bridge that helped me do what I do today. Because of the Civil War, I was confined into an environment where there was pretty much no nature around except going to the beaches on the weekends with my father, which is what triggered my interest for nature. The wilderness was a foreign concept to me until I actually went on expedition for National Geographic on 2015. So that was the first time I even knew what the Okavango Basin was. And then from then on, it just became my home. Then I started working with the communities in the highlands of Angola, and I understood the fundamental importance they have in the protection of the whole system, because usually we dissociate humans from the natural environment, and the idea is to bring them closer together again. My first contact with the Luchazi people in the Eastern Angolan Highlands was actually quite funny. <laughs> we saw a few people running away from us because they thought we were ghosts, because they hadn't seen people so light as we were. It is so remote and their history is so unique that working with them would require a very different approach to conservation. The elders have mythical stories of creatures that protect the rivers, that protect the forests. Because of the Civil War, the tradition of passing on these important stories was lost. So one thing that I do is trying to bridge that gap. The more I got to interact with the communities, the more I got to understand how deeply connected to their environment they are. And I came to the realization that without empowering them to understand their importance, it was not possible to reach any sort of conservation results. So that's when I started shifting my interest from natural science to a more social relations conservation approach where communities have access to all of the research and together we can make decisions to protect that place with them having economical benefit for it. My vision for the Luchazi people is that they'll have a voice and they won't be afraid to use them. We are part of the planet, so all plants need to consider everything, the whole environment, as one. If we do not do our part, Earth will not last. And if Earth doesn't last, we don't last. Let's all be the future. Let's all protect the wild. <laughs>